Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing something quite different. This is the first episode of our new series, The Hunts for the Greatest Driving Roads in the UK. Now in today's episode, we're actually going to be going to the North Pennines, AONB, and that's Area of Outstanding Natural Beauty. So for those of you that are new to the channel, this is my E30 Touring, and I will link the playlist above. We filmed basically loads of videos on this car. Uh, but in short, it's a 1989 E30 320i Touring. I absolutely love this thing. It's great to drive, very analog driving experience. So it's gonna be fantastic out on these roads. So we're currently at Scotch Corner Services, just on the A1. And we'll shortly be going down the A66 to Bruff, but I'm gonna show you the route now. We've got about a 75 mile loop that we're going to be doing hopefully finding some fantastic roads. We filmed quite a few videos in the North Pennines and it is a fantastic area of the UK for driving roads and for scenery. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can find. Okay, so we're about here at Scotch Corner Services and you can see we're on the A1 motorway, which is one of the main motorways in the UK. And then we're gonna go onto the A66, which is a dual carriageway, which basically runs from east to west over to the Lake District in Cumbria. So yeah, we're gonna join the A66 here at the Scotch Corner Junction. We're going to go all the way across to Bruff, which is a roughly 40 minute drive, I think. And that's going to be basically the starting point for when we go into the North Pennines. Now from Bruff, we're going to head north east up to Middleton and Teesdale. We'll probably stop at a reservoir here because it's a pretty cool view. And then we're going to head uh, west from there towards Cow Green Reservoir. And actually, we're going to go on a pretty small road here and it's not even shown on the map, but this heads north from the B6277 down here up to the A689, which is a much bigger road. And then we're going to head west towards Alston. And then we're going to head southwest from there, which will take us to the Hartside Pass. And this is quite a well-known sort of road, driving road, really. If you sort of in this area, you've probably heard of it. So we're going to go down the sort of Hartside Pass. We'll probably go up to Penrith. And at this point, we could take the boring route back. But what we're actually going to do is come back up to Alston and then take the B6277 again, which we sort of missed before when we cut up and take this back here. And we'll probably go all the way through to Barnard Castle down here and that should be the end of our route so it should be pretty good we've driven quite a few of these roads before for you know various of our videos and yeah it is it is pretty stunning in terms of the landscape and the road so really looking forward to it so anyway that's enough of that I think uh, it's probably about time we hit the road we've got quite a few miles to go before we get to Bruff so we'll see you in the car Okay, so now you join us at Selset Reservoir. So this is just up from Bruff, halfway between Bruff and Middleton and Teesdale. We'll show you on a map now, I'll overlay that in. But basically this is a, an enormous reservoir, to be honest, it stretches a huge distance back. But as you can see today, the level's actually pretty low. Now we were back here in March filming the sort of short film with this car to celebrate the 1000 subscribers special. And yeah, it's totally different sort of atmosphere then. 
You know, the North Pennines are known for just how crazy the weather can be. Even today, it's pretty windy, but back in March, it was absolutely crazy. You had snow, rain, ridiculous winds as well. So yeah, it's a pretty, pretty nice place to be honest. And you can just drive right down to the reservoir here. There's a bit of building work going on today, which is why the level's so low, at least I think it is. But yeah, anyway, we'll show you some B-roll of this kind of area, and then we'll drive on to the next place, which will be Middleton in Teesdale. <laughs> So you join us on the summit in the middle of the North Pennines now and I'm sat in the car because it is very very windy and I didn't want it to kind of disturb the audio but that is a fantastic driving road. We stuck the camera on the front which you will have seen, also got a few bits of b-roll from up here as well and it is just a fantastic view. That road in particular is very quiet and it's very small so actually in terms of driving it's very very good. Now one of the big things about being in the UK is most of our kind of rural roads just have one speed limit which is 60 miles an hour. Now, of course, some of these tighter, twistier roads, 60 miles an hour is basically too fast. So it means you can push on a little bit within the speed limit, obviously being safe on the public road, but it does mean you can have a lot of fun. So in terms of where we are on the map then, I'll show you this now. So as you know, we started down in Bruff. We came up this road, stopped at Selset Reservoir. We then came through Middleton and Teesdale, and we came across this B6277. 
We stopped at High Force. You'll see a couple of shots from that as well. It's a pretty nice waterfall, but it's quite busy down there and the road isn't particularly great actually. So when you get to Calgreen Reservoir, um, we turned right and this road that we're on now isn't actually shown on here because it's so small, but it's pretty much where the reservoir is kind of coming off there. Um, and we're about halfway up it right at the peak. And then we're going to descend down onto this A689 road into a little village, I suppose, called St. John's Chapel, which is pretty nice. And then we're going to make our way up to Alston. So we've made some pretty good progress so far. There's been some fantastic roads as always, but yeah, we'll check in with you a bit later on. So we're now at the top of the hard side summit just outside of Alston and as you can see we've got this incredible view behind us looking back over the North Pennines where we've just driven from 
I'm hoping you can hear me all right. As you can tell, it's incredibly windy up here. It's very exposed. I think we're at about 1900 feet, but it's one of the highest parts of this area. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed those driving roads on the way up here. It is really fantastic, actually. Lots of open flowing roads and some tighter technical bits as well. So it really is fantastic to drive. So from here, we're actually gonna descend down the Hartside Pass, down the other side, and then we'll see what's at the bottom. We might then come back and complete the route a different way but we'll check in with you a bit later on. Okay guys, so we're now in Barnard Castle, which marks the end of our route and the end of today's first episode actually of um, the hunt for the UK's greatest driving roads. Now, it really has been a fantastic little journey actually. Um, the car's just tripped over 99,000 miles now, so I'm in the last sort of thousand to click over on that big 100,000 miles. But yeah, I really enjoyed the roads. Um, I hope you guys have had a sort of a really good look at you know some of the footage we've got. I think one of my favorite bits really would have to be that road from Calgreen Reservoir up to St. John's Chapel. It's really fantastic and the scenery is amazing as well. Hartside Pass was very good. It's a little bit on the busy side, actually. There is a bit more traffic up there and it's, you know, it's also because there's so much downhill uphill, it is a little bit sort of harder on the brakes on this car. And with standard brakes, they were starting to get, you know, it's starting to fade just a little bit. So yeah, maybe that's not as good, but overall a fantastic route and the North Pennines really is a brilliant place to drive. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more episodes in this series. Also subscribe if you're new to the channel because we've got plenty more content coming soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>